Okay, time for video number three. Video number three is going to be this curved arrow here. Now, again, we're always adding something a little new to each shape, enhancing our skills. Started with just a basic circle. And then in the next one, we had these really pointy edges we had to create for our moon. We still have that pointy edge here on our curved arrow, but the new part is mixing in curves with straight lines, because everything we've done before has been curved so far. And the head of our arrow here is pointy and shaped like an arrowhead, so we're gonna have to do two different types of things to make that work. So of course, like we have already, make yourself an arrow layer. And hopefully my mouse won't go bananas on this one. And like I have in the past, I'm going to show you real quick with just my paintbrush tool how we're going to set this bad boy up. We are going to start up here at this little tip. And we're going to click and pull. And you can go either way around the arrow. Doesn't matter which way you want to go. Okay, since we've been going clockwise on our other things, I guess we can continue going clockwise. And I'm going to do my next click and pull down here on like this little armpit area of my arrow. Then my new part is going to be adding these straight lines on the, uh, the head part of my arrow here. And I'm simply just going to click, click, and click. No pulling, because they're straight. Anytime you just click, there's no arrows, so it has to be a totally straight line. And then, oh my gosh, my mouse, come on. Come on, mouse. <laughs> We're gonna come back in here to the other armpit, and we're gonna click and pull and then we'll wrap up our shape back up top like we have before. All right, get rid of my paintbrush, grab my pen tool, choose a color. I'm gonna go green this time. Again, no fill. Add that fill later, don't let it be in your way. Okay, so we're gonna start up top. I'm gonna click and I'm gonna pull in the direction that I'm going and so I'm going clockwise. I'm just going to do a tiny little baby arm, pulling to the right. My next point is going to be down here in this little armpit here. I'm going to click and I'm going to pull in the direction you think you're going is this way, but I just want you to pull straight down. So there's my curve. It is nowhere near where my actual arrow is, but it's totally okay because we'll fix it later. Now let's come in and do these straight lines. You're gonna love it, it's totally easy. Don't make it harder than it needs to be. You are just going to click once. And that first time you do it, it's gonna be all crazy and wave-like. Well, that's because it's got an arm over here that's kind of making things go crazy. Don't worry about it, again, we'll fix it. Next one is right here at the nose. Just clicking once and letting go. That time you can see it actually do its job. It is totally a straight line. Trust me, we'll come back and finish this other guy and make it look better here in a little bit. Come out here to this wing, click once, let go. No pulling, it's a straight line. But we've got a curve here, so we can't just click once, we have to click and pull. And you just do a little baby pull, and that keeps it from going crazy. Again, this is curved like that, just not as bad. We'll fix it here in a sec. My final point is going to be up here at my butt, up here at the top. I'm hovering over that anchor point until that tiny little circle appears. And I'm clicking and dropping my final spot. So here's my shape. It really doesn't look too much like an arrow, but let's fix that. So let's focus on these weird little armpits down here because that's the new part. Get that white arrow. And then double click on one of the armpits. Doesn't matter which one because you got to fix both of them. This arm is totally controlling this upper portion, this little tail area of my arrow. But this little guy down here, this little tiny arm, little arm, is controlling the other side. So 
if you take that arm and you shove it back into the anchor point it came from, boom, straight line. Because now this path, this little segment right here, this little line segment, has two anchors controlling it. But those two arms that are controlling it, like we had up here, are now totally gone. And without the arms, it is now a straight line. And that leaves me with only one arm to play with to then fine tune this other side. We can come back and mess with that in a second. So same thing over here on this other little armpit. Get my white arrow. Figure out which arm is controlling it, and it's this one. I'm just going to take that arm and I'm going to shove it back into that anchor point. Boom, gone, straight line. Boom, 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 nice and straight. Now my other little crazy arm's still dancing around. No biggie. I'll just grab you, pull you, manipulate you to get back on track with where I needed you to be. Hold down option when I need to to lock the other side. And I can hone in my little arrow. Get that curve built. Really get that nice and pointy. Whenever your line is kind of like fine, it's going all crazy, just kind of suck it back in. So again, shack arms make it go crazy. We want more average size arms. There we go. Ah, this mouse. Stop it. I'm done. Come back in here. Choose myself a fill color. Adjust my stroke, whatever I want. Boom, my arrow was done. There we go. I have an arrow layer, a moon layer, and a circle layer. I have that because I've made a new layer every single time. Because again, sometimes guys, whenever you're using that pen tool, you don't make a new layer. Sometimes Photoshop thinks it's being helpful, but it's totally not. And it's smushing those guys all together. Save it, move on to the fourth video for the gear.